Hello. <laughs> I am just exploding with love and joy. I was just so, so happy to be here. Um, I've labeled myself as a joyler, <laughs> somebody who is in the moment, and I just feel so good about having the ability to get to joy very quickly. Yeah. But I have one stickler. Oh, let's talk about it. See if we can mess everything else up. <laughs> let's focus on that one problem. Choose a lower disc, and then see how soon all the others will come down and join it. Sarcasm isn't pretty, is it? <laughs> I actually enjoy it. I enjoy that too. Um, I do a lot of my marketing for my business and social media, and occasionally in a news feed or something, I'll see a picture of or a something video, that you don't want to see. Don't go something that I don't want to see. And what I do is to get myself back into a great state is I'll run for my puppy because I know that my puppy always gives me love. Well, how long does the news feed last? Not, not Fortunately, long. they're pretty yes. fast. It's Just true. Glance away. It's true. Squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, you really you, the you, image is the image is so disturbing that I look for a way to get rid of the image as quick as possible, and then I feel that it's my job to do something proactive regarding proactive only increases momentum on the thing that you want to deactivate. Oh, because in this universe of attraction, there's no exclusion. So oh. just the the more interested you are in getting it away from you, the yes. more interested it is in coming to you. So because don't do anything to oppose it, is what I think I'm just hearing. Just accept it as a sort of annoying byproduct of something that otherwise is overall beneficial to you. In other words, emphasize the parts of the social media that serve you. Yes. And just keep focusing on that and de-emphasize the other by your lack of attention to it. But do not need it. Do not make it so significant that you have to run to your puppy. Oh, okay. <laughs> In other words, okay. it's not coming after you. It's just out there on the buffet. Just don't put it on your plate. So it's not something that I, I also felt that maybe it's a calling that I no, need to. Not it's that. not it's not that it's either. Not that. It's just part of the contrast of the world. Yes. That that you that has the potential of helping you select a disc. Okay. In other words, something a, a news feed or something can go by. You can focus upon it, spend 17 seconds on it, and then right. another, and then another, and before you know it, you've chosen a disc, and then everything in your world is temporarily, at least, ruled by that vibration that you have accomplished. Can you hear the careful selection of words that you have chosen and accomplished? And we don't want you to feel fearful of, of a world that is asserting unwanted stuff into your experience because you can flick it off. Right. You can. Right. You can flick it off. And the more you flick it off, the, the, the less you will even notice it. Have you ever taken a long drive? Esther loves this because she's taken so many long drives. And in a whole day, she will only notice one billboard and it is about the thing that matters to her that day. With the thousands of billboards and right. advertisements that are crossing her potential rendezvousing in a day and she saw not one of them except the one to the RV park that she needed right. or the one to the hotel that was of interest or the one to the restaurant that they'd been talking about because the source within you knows where you are in relationship to where you want to be and is showing you the signs that matter and there is so much stimulation in your environment that is irrelevant to you it's true and a lot of you are feeling sort of bombarded by it. You've never lived in a more technologically active environment where there, where so much can come to you so fast, which is all the more reason that you want to pick your disc and then you'll begin rendezvousing with the aspects of the social media that are, are of benefit to you. Which I do. Which yeah. I do. 
Yeah. There's a tiny other part to that. But, but there's another, th- the, the reason that we are enjoying this conversation so much is because it's true. I mostly do that, but I have this problem that I wish to discuss. <laughs> no, just understanding. But wait, but wait, that, but when that, we, we come we, into. Just stay there for just a second. Sure. Because that's, that's something that we're feeling all around the planet. Yes, I mostly do it, except for this one thing that and. I think needs more description. And we say, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't need more conversation. It doesn't need more focus. It needs less conversation and less focus. And then it will become a non-competing vibration in your experience. When you talked about transitioning and we chose to come here into this body, the question that I have as part of it is, could we choose to come into an animal form? Well, when you get to the all is oneness question, of course, from a source energy standpoint, that, uh, that is happening. But ask yourself logically, if you are an evolving consciousness and you have come into this physical human form yes. where you get to consciously choose and launch rockets and then deliberately line up with them, do you really want to step back into a less deliberate creation because i look at dogs as a pure source of love they are they are they are masters at allowing energy yes and not exploring the contrast for the launching of rockets right so they are much more effective at the step three part of the process humans are much more effective at the step one part of the process we are most effective at the step two part of the process but as a conscious deliberate creating human you can accomplish step one and step three wow and the most evolved humans are those who now put their emphasis upon the allowing part because you understand the laws of the universe and the beasts of your planet are already masters at that they already know that things are working out for them. They already know that the earth is spinning in its orbit. They're part of our teachers then. That's, that's They're the, the best teachers yes. about allowing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I'm at peace. Thank you. You are the one. Come on. So I have a couple of questions and I have a rampage request. Um, my first question is about relationships and when you create a vortex preference for relationships with someone, um, you can allow that vortex with them or with any other amount of people, correct? Th- there are many, many possibilities probabilities and even certainties to satisfy your vibrational intent yes so my my one of my questions about relationships is that is there the path of least resistance um is sometimes well, that that really is the only conversation that yes. is necessary to have relative to the subject of relationships because it's a path of least resistance thing because you've already created the relationship now it's just a matter of you getting out of the way of it in the precise ways to bring you the relationship that's most active in your vibration in other words do you know that the path, we're going to let you talk in a minute do you know do you know that the path of least resistance really is the path that you've most practiced now think about that mm. the path of least resistance is the path that you've most practiced mm-hmm. because the path that you've most practiced is the path of your most momentum yeah. and therefore of your yeah. most attraction don't you can, can you wrap your thoughts around that yeah. so the path of least resistance so the question that you want to ask yourself is am I practicing the path to what I want or am I just practicing the path that's the easiest to practice because a lot of people are just practicing the path that's easy it's, it's easier in your human environment to 
find people to complain with you about one thing or another. It's easy <laughs> to practice complaining yeah. because they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really easy to practice complaining. Yeah. And then, and therefore make that path, the path of least resistance through which other things to complain about, make their way <laughs> steadily, effectively and swiftly to you. Yes. Yes. Path of least resistance and don't, and isn't law of attraction, the ultimate relationship conversation and isn't path of least resistance. Doesn't it just fit right in there in the most wonderful way? So don't just sort of want to make your decisions about what you want and identify it and then say, okay, I'm going to do everything in my power to carve out the path of least resistance to that. Stay with us. You're really going to like this. So if you can fast forward in your mind vibrationally to what it would feel like to be inside this delicious relationship that you want and you identify what it would feel like to be inside of that relationship. Ooh, what does it feel like to be the object of someone's attention when they're tuned into source energy? Ooh. Yeah. What does it feel like to be tuned into source energy and holding someone else as my object of attention? What does it feel like? To have the energy that creates worlds coursing through us as we cooperatively are moving through life and making decisions together. What does, what does empowerment feel like? What does invincibility feel like? What does that feeling of love and appreciation feel like? What does that feel like? So you just keep thinking for it, reaching for it, finding the feeling of it, finding the feeling of it. Now, here's, this is a key point to this leading edge discussion. Once you have identified what it would feel like to be inside that, not virtual, that fleshed out, that filled in, that all the pieces in there where you can see them and hear them and smell them and taste them and touch them. Once you've identified and practiced what that would feel like, now the path of least resistance feels just like that too. Feels just like that. So every time you're worried, you're off the path. Mm -hmm. Every time you're frustrated, you're off the path. Every time you're lonely, you're off the path. Every, every time you're happy, you're on the path. Every time you feel invincible, you're on the path. Every time you feel appreciation for anyone or anything, you're on the path. Don't you like that? Yeah. Don't you like that knowing that you could be on a subject that seems completely unrelated to the relationship you want and you would still be on the path, on the path of least resistance to most swiftly rendezvous with that other? Yeah.